This is a merino wool zip front cardigan. Does it have pockets? It does, of course. It's got pockets. One hundred six forty-two with the sale price. It goes away at the end of the day. Another customer top rated sweater. Fantastic. Every one that I've shown so far has been customer top rated from you. It's 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 music to our ears. We actually adore hearing. Um the, the feedback from customers when someone's taken gone to such effort to say something positive about you it just means so much to us mm -hmm. well it's four easy payments of twenty six dollars and sixty one cents we brought in a new color which we'll share with you a two three one one nine zero is your item number and it is the only zip front of this show so if you do need that and this is this is what you want then grab it so this color is the natural sure. we have all sizes so double extra small through double extra large here is the emerald green. And it's the true emerald green. Yes. Double extra small through double extra large. Oh, that sunlight yellow is so pretty. Small through double extra large. The chambray, extra uh, small through double extra large. Here is the lapis blue. Oh, and by the way, the chambray is new. Here's the lapis blue, small through double extra large. And my goodness, look at the wine. Um, extra small through medium and extra large only. Lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, tell us about Aaron Craft, Barry. Sure. Um, so I'm actually in the third generation of our family I business. I thought I would now. remind you. <laughs> Not that you needed. I don't know what I did that for. It's kind of silly. You're third generation. Okay. So the uh, the company was, was started by my grandmother Molly Cullen, mm -hmm. and so she was uh, she she, learned, she knitted for years with her uh, her grandmother Kate O'Shea, who was a famous Irish knitter. Mm -hmm. Actually, here's a photograph of Molly. This was taken on her 21st birthday when she was in New York. She had uh, traveled over to America basically to earn some money to send back to her family at home mm -hmm. um, so herself and her sister went over but so when she she returned home um, her sister actually sent her over the money to, from America to buy her first knitting machine and so that company start, officially became a, a, the company as it is today in 1957 so last year was our 60th anniversary and uh, so that, that was then continued by um, my father Paul and his brother John who everyone knows on QVC has been presenting here as a guest for a long time and then at the next, now we're in the third generation, which mm -hmm. is myself and my brother Niall. Very good. Um, and this, the the sweaters are. We always start with the the cables, but would you mind starting this time with the merino wool? Sure. So, um, anyone who's had that uh, the, the kind of the idea of merino wool being a being uh, of a wool sweater being something that's going to be scratching or irritating against mm -hmm. the skin, merino wool because of the nature of the the, the fineness of the fibers. The, the fibers are used in 24 micron fibers, mm -hmm. which is so fine. So and and the way that they're spun into thread, the, all of these tiny fibers are actually on, are what you're feeling against your skin. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have anything that's going to be stiff or irritating. It's just going to be completely soft to the touch. And it is. I you know I've been wearing the the merino wool sweaters, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking off, and I am not irritated in the least. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Um, and does this have a zipper pull both ways? It, it does. does. Double zip Great. with the Trinity toggle. Very nice. Okay, so um, tell us about the cables in this particular sure. sweater. So um, this style of knitwear, um, it was originated in the Iron Islands, which are three very rugged islands off the coast of uh, Galway, Inishman, Inishmore, and Inishir. And so this, these were small fishing villages, and th to, to kind of th these would have been knitted by the mothers and the, the wives of the fishermen, and this is would have been what they would have worn out to work. So this, these are the so you know this is going to be durable, harsh wearing wool that was mm -hmm. going to be protect them when they were out in the sea. And so to honor that, we kind of have this cable. This is, what, this is the kind of the quintessential cable that you see in all cable knit sweaters. And that represents the ropes and the ties that the fishermen use to, to, to haul in their catches. And it represents the promise of a bountiful catch. Mm. And then if we move across here, what we have, this is a Celtic braid. So this, this is a really ancient symbol. Um, we have these tombs in Ireland, uh, these ancient tombs in Ireland. They're actually older than the pyramids in Egypt. And this, this symbol here can be seen carved into the rocks there but what we also did is we incorporated some of the fishermen's cables into that just to kind of give it another little bit of depth mm -hmm. and as you see as you come down here we have a patch pocket at the front but mm -hmm. until you have actually put your hand into that pocket you're not going to notice the pockets there because it's been integrated into the master pattern and that's something that we always try to do we say if your hand's not in your pocket you shouldn't even know it's there mm -hmm. and of course it's a good pocket because you can fit your phone your keys in it because this is the, the one of the things we love about this because it's a slightly shorter piece than what we've been selling mm -hmm. um, so far today. This is something coming into the spring when there's still a nip in the air. This is perfect. So you can put your keys, you put your phone, you can put your wallet in there, and they're not going to fall out. Mm. Um, you could. It's just. Oh, look at the back. Have we seen the back right now? Yeah. Look at that. 
So the, the, this, uh, this Celtic parade is continued on the back, on the left and right. But we always like to keep one central cable because it, it's it's, it draws the eye down and it makes it very flattering, but also it gives you a point of symmetry on both sides. Mm. Well, thank you <coughs> for doing that for us gals. And, on, and then on the collar, it's actually a double collar. So as I said, the way that you're wearing it now, yeah. you can wear it like that turtleneck. We can wear it yeah. uh, folded out flat, but also you can wear it as a funnel neck if you zip it the entire way up. Yeah. And you can see the cable is continued up on both sides there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when you wear it like this, because you have the two layers of wool, it has a bit of structure to it and rigidity. So it'll actually stand away from your neck. So if you don't like something necessarily touching your neck, this will sit a little bit away from it. Okay, and then I can do even this. So I could do that. And, and you can see the way that the actual, the toggle itself almost looks like a little piece of jewelry. It does. So this, uh, this is the Trinity symbol. So this is, um, <coughs> the Celts saw the symbol as representing the, the, the earth, the, the water and the air. Mm -hmm. Of course then, this going on to Christianity. St. Patrick actually used the symbol to show the, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when he came to Ireland to preach Christianity, he, he used the symbol of the shamrock, which is actually, if you look at this, it's very similar to the shape of the, of the Trinity knot. And he used that to, to preach the same thing, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Mystery. Nice. It's, isn't this a beautiful sweater? There's, you know, the merino wool is so soft, but there's, there is a, a bounce to it almost. And I, I love my Aaron Craft sweater that I have at home. I wear it all the time. I actually was going to wear it in today, and then I thought I can't wear that under my big heavy coat. This is me. I wore that. You were going to get a chance to wear a few today. Heavy, anyway. and then I was going to do it in another coat, and that's so anyway. Yeah, I get to wear these all the time, but my I wear them to death. Honestly, I wear I wear it to death, and they honestly, they I get so many compliments on that. If you've never had an Aaron Craft sweater from Ireland, if you had to go, if I went to Ireland. Could I get an Aaron Craft sweater in all these you, colors? You could get Aaron Craft sweater, but you could not get them in all the colors that like we supply. Like this green? To Could you get the green? Absolutely not. We we supply more colors. We supply more colors. We supply more colors to QVC than we do to anybody else. Chambray? Uh, Could you, you get that? Couldn't get the chambray. How about the the wine? Couldn't get the wine. Dang! What about this? Hey, what about this? This sunlight yellow. You just about yellow. get the natural. Well, this is why you shop at QVC. One more thing, Barry. What if I wanted Easy Pay? Can I get Easy Pay in Ireland? Not unless you made a very good deal with somebody. Oh, <laughs> just got to check. That's why we, we love to have you guys here. 29 years is the, we've been celebrating St. Patrick's Day here on QVC. And so happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you who are Irish, you happy as well. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And to me, because I'm part, a little little bit of Irish. Say everybody is. Well, I am because of the, my mom's last name. Oh, and technically, yes. But, but, <laughs> yeah, so Fitzpatrick. That's pretty Irish. Uh, that's about as Irish as it gets. Yeah, yeah. and I'm not sure where that came from because I'm really Norwegian. I guess it's Fitzpatrick I think is around Munster. It's kind of the, the set west of Ireland. Yeah, I always wanted to do one of those DNA tests to see like where I, you know. We had a tea caller earlier on today who, do, who did, uh, did one of the DNA tests where she found out she was 31% Irish. Oh, yeah. and then Samantha's 20%, right? 11%? What? What did you say, Mike? Mecklenburg. Like Mecklenburg, that. does that sound familiar, Barry? Is there any such thing there in Ireland? Sounds a bit Ireland? German. It's German. You're German, not Irish. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't have a clue. I've got German in me, too, because a horn back. It used to be horn yeah. back. Mostly German is true. Niemeyer. Okay, so you're mostly... Uh, now, what about you, Miss Kate? My father was born in Donegal. Uh, ah, there you go. So she's really Irish. She's super Irish. Well, if you look, both at, of look at both of you, the complexion and the hair, you would, it would have said a lot more than 11%. You'd say definitely to the Irish descent. Yeah, for sure. Um... Anyway, but you have beautiful dark-haired beauties there, like our friend Eve. Of course. She's dark hair, beautiful woman there. Um, so not everybody has red hair. Oh, no, no, of course. That's a, bit, that's a little bit of a stereotype. But, yeah, the fair, but the fair, it's, it's the fair complexion more than anything else. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, customer top rated, 106.42. This is very popular. We have gorgeous color choices. That's the new chambray that Barry brought in. And we have it in the green, which is also very, very popular. It's... It's um, lengthwise. I'll tell you the rest of the colors first. Mm -hmm. So we have sure. the green, the emerald green, I would call it. Chambray, the sunlight yellow that Kate has on. Natural is quite popular. We have it for you in the lapis blue, which is a bright color of blue. And then one more time, that is your sunlight yellow. And then I have it on in the wine, which is just so deeply saturated. It's so pretty. Um, and... 
Side, lengthwise, if you were to get a medium, it's 27 inches. If you were to get a double extra large, it would be 28 and a half inches in length. And I, I am 5'5", five five and I've got the extra small on, because I think that, no, double extra small on this one on, I guess. I think one, one of the beautiful things about this is it's, it's, it's one of those uh, pieces that's it's going to appeal to multiple generations, because there's mm -hmm. very young aspects to it, and there's some very traditional aspects to it. So if you're looking to buy it for <clears throat> someone uh, in their mid-twenties as well as somebody, uh, as maybe like your grandmother or something like that. I think it's going to be appropriate for everybody. Awesome. And look at, you can do the funnel neck if it gets really cold. Ooh. And it, the, the wind is whipping up. So nice. And put a scarf maybe around it. And then you're like, you know, no, it's, I feel okay. So I'm going to just do that. And now you have kind of like a, a, like a loose, super loose turtleneck. Yeah. And then you can also do... You can even do a short kind of zip. You can do it a little bit longer if you'd like to have it kind of open. Do you want to show off a nice piece of jewelry like you're yeah, doing there, exactly. like that, that lovely uh -huh. JMH piece? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you can do that with the zip on the bottom because it is that double zip. And you can even do something like that to like you have like a little. That's bit what a lot of people really like is, is if, if they're getting in and out of the car a lot. They like to have the the kind of the, to open it a little bit from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then you've got that jewelry grade hardware that there. That's fantastic like that actually. I've never seen them just doubled up like that. It looks great. Oh yeah, it looks so cute. It's like you have just the one little yeah, one yeah. button done. That's, 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 yeah. that's great. See now, Barry, you know what to do. You can say, hey, let's try that. And you can do it even a little high. Like this is so versatile. All the versatility in the top right. for the neckline, and then you've got all those versatility with the zipper pull. We should pull. charge you more for that. Thing. That's right. Maybe we should. Can you add more money onto the price? <laughs> Brett Barry's like, yeah. Of course I can. <laughs> what is? What? No, you can't. It's a sale price. Here's a done deal here today. However, he's going to add more money. Well, not him really. We are going to put more money back on this actually at the end of the day today because it, right now it's a sale price, but it goes up at the end of the day along with that easy pay will not be around either. And this is a good time for me to, to let you know that if you're spending $250 on your Q card, you'll get a $25, uh, $25 credit statement. Is that for new customers only, Tony? Oh, anybody? Anyone? Not even new customers. So if you're spending $250 today, you get your $25 credit. That's, That's fantastic. So, um, but that offer goes away at the end of the day today. So, a two three one one nine zero is your item number. Usually, we only have those deals. That must be one easy payment on this. That's right. That's exactly right. Because the easy pay is twenty six sixty one. That's pretty nice. Um, and by the way, we have free exchanges. So, if you get this home and thought, you know what, I really, I love that sunlight yellow. However, I should have gotten the chambray. That new chambray free exchanges. And what if you get it home and you say, oh, I think I should go up a size. Mm -hmm. Then you again free exchanges. But it's customer top rated. People have taken the time to write in to say how much they love this sweater, Barry. It was on the size. I think this is probably on the relaxed side of, of true to size as well. I think. Okay. Yeah. What's that? Because I know we have a couple of different sizes on the rack. You've got mm -hmm. an extra small. What is this one that I have on? That one. I think is it must be an extra small. Two X. 2XS, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it is a generous sizing yeah. on this particular. That was a good call. I'm glad I found out. So it is a more generous sizing, so I definitely do not size up on this. Stay yeah. true to size because you can wear a turtleneck underneath neath this. Um, um, even a heavier piece, certainly you can do that. But 10642, it's one of our featured items on the day called the Top Find. And if you're new and you want to find a place to start, go with something that's customer top rated. Mm. We don't mess with the ratings at all. Um, if you give us a terrible review, it's fine that's okay if you give us a fantastic review thumbs up if you're somewhere in the middle okay again this is how we learn it's how we grow and it's how Aaron Craft just and, says and let's, of course, if, you, you know. if you're not sure about what to go for if you're going for something that you've never had before yeah. the natural is always classic, the classic iron color it can't go wrong and it's one it's, it, of, of every style that we, of, of every color that we supply to QVC we will always do our best to supply something in natural because it's, it's the most popular, it's the classic color okay because it goes with everything anyway so Sean, we have the emerald green the natural, the new chambray, lapis blue, sunlight yellow, and then I put on the wine choice. A 231190, this is very popular and we're getting limited in some sizes. So um, do you want to say those or no? Oh, well, let me just share this with you. It's getting broken across the sizes in every single one of our colors. So if you do feel like you want to grab this, call 800 500 
Yes, that is the number to call. And, or you can go to qvc.com and order as well and make sure you get the size that you want, especially because of the price. You've got a price break today because yep. um, it's St. Patrick's Day, but that will the price is going to go up at the end of the day today along with the easy pay breakdown as well. So um, one more time with the colors because that's always sure. really important. And it's done with merino wool, which is gonna, you can even wear them in undies. So <laughs> <laughs> there's your Elmer Green. That's your natural. Here's your sunlight yellow. Chambray that's new, lapis blue, I have it on in the wine, 